The child grew and was weaned, and Abraham held a great feast on the day Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son mocking, the one Hagar the Egyptian had born to Abraham. So she said to Abraham, Drive out this slave and her son, for the son of his slave will not be a co-heir with my son Isaac. Now this was a very difficult thing for Abraham because of his son. But God said to Abraham, Do not be concerned about the boy and your slave. Whatever Sarah says to her, you, listen to her, because your offspring will be traced through Isaac. But I will also make a nation of the slave's son because he is your offspring. Early in the morning Abraham got up, took bread and a water skin and put them in Hagar's shoulders and sent her and the boy away. She left and wandered into the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she left the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat down nearby, about a bow shot away, for she said, I can't bear to watch the boy die. So as she sat nearby, she wept loudly. God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What's wrong, Hagar? Don't be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy from the place where he is. Get up, help the boy up and sustain him, for I will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. So she went and filled the water skin and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy, and he grew, and he settled in the wilderness and became an archer. He settled in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother got a wife for him from the land of Egypt. <laughs>